It was a small act of kindness. Same thing, just sign it? Yeah, if you could just sign it. That helped turn a first-time novelist into an overnight bestseller. You know, when Red came up and talked to me, I was just so eager to talk to anybody at that point. TikToker Red first discovered author Sean Warner earlier this month at a grocery store in Fort Worth, Texas. It was near the self-checkout line when he saw the writer all alone at a table with a stack of books and a weary look on his face. I do uh, a little bit of TikTok and whatnot, so I think I'm going to go ahead and get a second one. I'm going to gift it on there and see if we can get you a little bit of love on there. Oh, okay. I won't say no. <laughs> Red's video quickly gaining more than 18 million views and more than 3 million likes on the app. I wasn't expecting this video to blow up like this. People coming together, it's, this is it's so beautiful. And with the power of the book talk hashtag attracting a diverse reading community. Came in the mail. Super excited to read it. I'm so excited to read it. Thank you, Sean. Warner's debut novel, Lee Howard and the Ghosts of Simmons Pierce Manor, amassed five-star reviews, climbing the ranks on Amazon's bestseller list. It was just an amazing thing, and it's all on you for your kindness and generosity. Thank you. And winning over new fans from all around the world. Ah, Sean, your book made it to Germany. Warner, an Army veteran and former paratrooper in the 82nd Airborne Division, went on to work as a software engineer before losing his job from company-wide layoffs years ago. That setback did not stop the father of two from moving forward. Instead, he decided to pursue his childhood dream of being a writer. The love just keeps pouring out. And as always, thanks to Red, your big heart and your generosity got this whole ball rolling. Now it's a new beginning for the novelist, all thanks to one stranger's good deed. Okay, this is so cool. We're so happy to say joining us now is best-selling author, Sean Warner. Sean, this is an incredible story, an act of kindness. Tell us what it felt like when you when you realized that your book was actually climbing the charts. You are watching it in real time. Um, it started out with a lot of confusion. <laughs> we, we didn't know what was happening. Our phones were going off, and we had no clue what was happening. And our daughter actually said, Dad's gone viral on TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> and you, just to be clear, you've never met Red before. You just happened to be at that grocery store. I, I was at Kroger signing the books, um, and Red saw me sitting alone and came over and said hello and, and brightened up my day, and then it just brightened up my life. Ah, oh, it sure did. It really changed everything. We want to bring Red in. I think he's here. Yeah. Hey, Red, Red. You want oh, to come there out? There you come are. On. You haven't seen each other since that day, that fateful moment. Hey, <laughs> hey I forget that. <laughs> oh, thank you, you so much. No problem. No oh. problem. Oh. Sit out, Red. Will you tell us, when you walked up on that table and you said you saw a guy, you had not a great look on his face, not feeling the best. Tell us about that. Uh, honestly, well, my brother sent me to go get ice cream. I was supposed to be at a birthday party. So I was I was beelining it straight for the frozen food section. <laughs> and I saw Sean. And I, I don't know, something just registered with me. You know, I, I, I feel like I have a lot of passion for other people. I'm a big people person. Yeah. So when I saw him and he didn't have a smile on his face, it, it just made me want to change it. So yeah. that's all I did. I, I was like, hey, can I make a video of you? And and it took off. I, honestly, I, I did such a small part. It really it came down to the people. Like, the people decided, and, and it took off. Like. It, it really <laughs> took off. And, Sean, I just want to point out, since you are a best-selling author, people are giving this book great reviews as yes. well. You're get, So they're buying it. They're not buying it just to be nice people. They're buying it, they're reading it, and they're loving it. <laughs> that, was, that was a hurdle for me to get over because the last thing I wanted was sympathy. Yeah. You know, uh, a pity review or pity buys and mm -hmm. stuff like that. But um, after I got over that and I started reading some of these just really gracious reviews, then then it was like, okay, I got to sit back and start enjoying this Enjoy, now. Enjoy, yes. You were getting choked up, Sean, looking at people from all over the country and really around the world holding mm -hmm. your book up. It arrived yeah. in the mail. What was that right. like? It was, um, it was just incredible, something I never thought had happened. But what really warms my heart, and I'm going to get choked up again, um, <clears throat> when parents say they're reading it with their kids <laughs> it's what every writer would hope it's the dream jared what about for you what has this meant for you 
Honestly, so much. Like, again, I'm a big people person, and I, I always joke, you know, I go, I tell people, you, could you imagine, thank God the book was good, because could you imagine the blowback if it wasn't, you know? <laughs> and, you know, so many people, like hundreds of people have messaged me, whether they're authors or they're illustrators or whatever it may be, and a lot of people have messaged me saying that, you know, Sean's book, you know, it. it I think it started out as being a nice gesture to somebody, but then everybody kind of rallied and it became almost as if his success was our success, mm. you know, and the people just got behind I mean, that's it. That's a beautiful way of putting it. That's exactly it. Yes. Well, if there's a moral to the story, yeah. it's how a simple act of kindness can do so much. <laughs> You're such a great guy. I know. We oh love God. you. We adore Two you. Two great, yes. um, great guys. I hope Friends for Life. Craig has a little something yeah. for our best-selling uh, author. Here he is, just to commemorate this moment. We want to mark your moment. This is, by the way, love meeting you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, love thank meeting you, you thank as well. You, thank you. This is a great story. Oh. We wanted thank to present you. this to you. Mm -hmm. Oh, my gosh. Bestseller. Thank you. Amazon bestseller. Yeah. TikTok That's... famous. An all-around fantastic human being. Congrats. Oh, we should show everybody. Oh, yeah, we show everybody. That's the... Which camera, guys? There we go. And you're signing that, by the way. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah. Love it. All right. Well, the book is a great one. Again, it's called uh, Lee Howard and the Ghosts of Simmons Pierce Manor. Are you going to write more books? I have um, <laughs> a book that I'm polishing up to get out pretty soon. I'm working on the sequel to that, and I'm working on a movie script featuring a DC oh. character. Oh, oh my gosh, that's incredible. incredible. Your beautiful wife is here beaming. Uh, we're just happy oh. that you're here. And Red's amazing. beautiful wife. Is, oh, yeah. Yeah. Your, your wife's over your here, wife, too. Oh, your wife's here, too. Oh, oh is your wife here? Yeah. 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 All right. Everybody, Everybody, yeah. All the gang Y'all should go here. out for coffee. <laughs> Have a right. breakfast. <laughs> Start the Today Show. Thanks, guys. Thank, Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Great job. for showing us the way. Kindness counts, for sure. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.